Hello, I'm Dr. Alexandru Ionescu and I developed my work in Bucharest, Romania. I dedicated the last 13 years of my career to the minimally invasive surgery protocols in everyday practice, using the open healing technique and flapless approach in implant patients. In this webinar, I'm going to describe the open healing protocol in post-extraction socket and the advantages of choosing Geistlich BioGuide as golden standard for this technique. The case I'm going to present is of a 34 years patient who came to her office with a tooth mobility that first occurred three months before after a sport incident that caused a trauma in that region. Even the defect was type 2 class with the soft tissue level virtually remained at the level of the DSNTs and the bone lost almost up to the basilar bone, the risk profile was favorable for our protocol. Tooth 11 was extracted automatically. Socket preservation procedure was performed respecting the open healing protocol. The Geistlich BioGuide membrane was shaped to fit the post-extraction socket and inserted deeply into the alveola down to the basal bone. There was no flap raised and no periosteal incision. The alveola was grafted with Geistlich Bio small granules that were highly condensed to fix the membrane in the apical region. Finally, the BioGuide membrane was folded over to protect the bone graft and remained deliberately opened. Here is a short movie showing the previously described steps. The shaped membrane inserted deeply into the alveola. The Geistlich Bio small granules highly condensed to fix the membrane in the apical region and the membrane was folded to protect the bone graft. After folding the membrane, a PTFE continuous suture at the free gingival margin was performed to stabilize it. This is the clinical view showing that no incisions were made, so there will be no scars and the fixed gingiva will be preserved. Provisional crown was attached to the adesentis. Rubber dam was used to protect the open healing site during adhesion procedure. Functional check was performed to respect the functional movement and avoid any interferences that can generate forces on the attached provisional. The CBCT scan after six months was confirming the favorable clinical outcome for flapless implant placement. This is the clinical outcome after the crown was cemented on the implant, respecting the biological with prosthetic protocol. Here is the three years follow-up showing a stable 3D architecture of the surrounding tissue. This is the lateral view at the implant site showing a stable aesthetic result with a favorable ridge contour. This is the CBCT imaging before extraction showing the root fracture. The CBCT imaging six months after flapless implant insertion and the CBCT imaging three years follow-up. The full overview of CBCT imaging showing the bone stability after the open healing protocol and the flapless implant placement. Finally, here are the keys to success for the open healing technique. Thank you very much for your attention.